Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cowboy Tech. Today I've got another whiskey review for you, as you can tell. Uh, I'm going to talk about a new one called Hellcat Maggie. This is the second one in my uh, reviews of whiskey under $25. That's right, you heard me right, under $25. This one's actually under $20. And I haven't tasted it yet, so this is going to be, you'll see my real reaction to it. Um, it's supposed to be decent. We shall see. Hellcat Maggie was a gangster, a female gangster, and she was notorious for having filed her teeth to a point so that when she bit people, it would punch the skin more. Uh, let's see what this bottle says about it. Uh, nothing there. That's actually a picture right up here behind me of the distillery, the Cooley Distillery. This is their barrel room. So Hellcat Maggie originally was a gangster in Manhattan. And she was part of the Dead Rabbits Gang, I think that's what it says. Yep, and was a fierce fighter and actually filed her teeth and nails to a point to bite and scratch her opponents better. Hopefully, this won't try to bite or scratch me when I drink it. We shall see. So I've got my glass. And as proof that I haven't drank it, listen to this. You put it up here by under mic. That's the bottle coming open. First time. Never tried it. I have to say, I much prefer a cork to a screw top, but this was $17.99 at my local grocery store. $17.99. Can't beat it. So, here we go. I can already smell it. It's, it's got a nice, strong smell to it. I'm sm it's really light in color. It's not as dark as some of the other whiskeys I've drank. You can smell a lot of the uh, vanilla, a lot of vanilla. Maybe some fruit, but we shall see. It's pretty strong smelling. So here we go, first sip. Hmm, better than I expected. I was expecting something really harsh or but for this at this price point but it's really not bad it's got like I said vanilla a lot of vanilla and some fruit and a little bit of cinnamon not a whole lot it doesn't burn on the front of your tongue uh, it kind of you feel the heat in the back of your throat when you drink it a little bit but not a lot and it's got kind of a I don't know what is that Kind of tastes like it's got a flavor in it, not the predominant, not not the just this honest first glass, it's honest, not the predominant flavor, but a definite strong flavor. Kind of tastes, kind of reminds me of how like dried leaves smell. Does that make sense? Not rotted leaves, but just just a dry, a nice arid, dry, like an outdoor on a fall day. I guess is a good way to put it. That's it. It tastes like the outdoors on a fall, crisp fall day. No, no. Look at that. Hellcat Maggie. It tastes like the outdoors on a crisp fall day. Mmm. Who needs spray? <laughs> okay, enough of that foolishness. So it'd probably be really good with some ice in it. So let's put some in it. Just happen to have ice in my hand, in my refrigerator hand. Whoa. 
insert IFS graphic here. Anyway, oh, probably just spinning around. Use my official whiskey stir stick. Ping. It makes it a little more muted on the flavors. Um, kind of mulled. Obviously, that's what mull is. You mix it with it. But <clears throat> I think I like it better straight. Maybe chill the bottle in the fridge. I don't know. I'll give that a try. You know, you got to drink it, right? So drink it eight different ways. But yeah, it's not bad. So I guess the next thing to do would be to try it with some soda. So just happen to have mm -hmm. some soda. Coke Zero. That's right, Coke Zero. I'm still on a diet. FYI, I've lost 12 pounds. My girlish figure's coming back. <laughs> but I like Coke Zero better than any of the other diet products because it tastes more to it tastes more like a real cola. Even than uh, Diet Coke. I like Coke Zero better than Diet Coke. Now my wife disagrees. She says that Diet Coke's better, but so pour a little bit of soda in that. Let's see what that looks like. Mmm. For me, this is where it shines best. The flavors mix with the caramel of the cola and the hint of sweet. Even though it's a diet, it still tastes sweet. Um, the whiskey doesn't overpower it. The soda doesn't overpower the whiskey. The balance is really good. You know, I'm going to vote and say that this is probably the best way to drink it. Uh, other than I do like, you know, nice crisp fall days, but for drinking it straight, but for me, this is probably the way I'm going to drink it. Yeah, that's, that's good. So, <clears throat> what I said was, when I started these reviews, I was going to tell you what to buy, what not to buy, what I recommend buying, what I recommend don't buying, what you can drink straight, and what you can drink mixed. This is definitely a buy. It would be a nice addition to your cabinet, especially when you're having friends over and they want whiskey. And they don't want your standard corporate whiskeys. And you know what I'm talking about when I say corporate whiskeys. I almost bought one to review. But I was like, no, I'm not buying a corporate whiskey. I'm buying whiskey that's either Irish whiskey or blended American whiskey. Uh, if I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of these labels. And if I sounded out some of the names, you would all know exactly what I'm talking about. This is an, a very decent buy, especially at uh, $18 a bottle. You really can't go wrong with it. You're not going to break the bank. You know, it's uh, even if you're making minimum wage, it's worth the price if you need whiskey or want whiskey. Need whiskey? Is that a Freudian slip? I don't know. Do I need whiskey? Oh, look. It works pretty good. My bottle disappeared. <clears throat> We're going to cut that whole minimum wage thing out. How about this? So, even if you're on a budget, which I am, I think everyone should get some kind of a budget, but I'm, even if you're on a budget, this is a decent whiskey to keep in your cabinet. Um, I go through them too fast to keep my cabinet full, so that's why I'm trying out new whiskeys to give, show to you guys. So, if you like a whiskey, buy this. Now, I did review previously the other whiskey, which was the Tullamore Dew. I prefer Tullamore over this one, but it's a very close choice. Tullamore, I like better straight, and this one I like better blended or mixed with, with uh, a cola or a soft drink. Yeah, this is my mixing whiskey from now on. Hellcat Maggie, named after a gangster, but you won't get robbed. So remember, guys, if you like this video, click the like button. Where is it? Over here? Over here. Yeah, that like button. And subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you'll get alerts when I come online or when I put a new video up. Tell your friends about it. Uh, if you'd like to see me review a particular whiskey or talk about something else, put it in the comments below. Uh, it's one of my friends who I watch on YouTube, and he'll know who he is if he sees it. He says, put it in the doobly-doo. You know who you are. So anyway, yes, absolutely. Hellcat Whiskey. Get it, drink it, enjoy it.
Mixed is the way I recommend it. Not straight. Mixed. So this is Johnny with Cowboy Tech saying, see you guys later. Hellcat Maggie. It tastes like the outdoors on a crisp fall day.